Hey boys and girls, Moon Girl here, and this is going to be a general reading for the sign of Libra. Hey Libra, hope you guys are doing well. So this is a general, guys. You know the drill. It may or may not resonate, but you can always get a personalized reading. So please head to my Facebook like page, Moon Girl Tarot and More. Message me on there to book a personal, or if you want to say hello. While you're there, please support my page by liking and following. I so would appreciate that. I will be giving a daily reading on there. You can also support me and follow me on my Instagram, Lily Moon Goddess Eleven, where I'll be giving a separate daily reading, so y'all can get two. And you can also please follow me um, and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube, Moon Girl Tarot and More. I so would appreciate your subscription and your support. And if you'd like to bless my channel, you can through cash at Moon Girl 1111. Moon Girl 1111. And um, so also feel free to swap energies. Like I said, if it's not you, it's someone you're dealing with, someone in your surroundings. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to give you a 12th wheel house reading. So I'll tell you what each placement means, and then we'll move forward with the cards on there, okay? So the first thing I do have for your first house here, which is ruled all about basically ego it's um, self appearance beginnings the body first impressions attitude identity approach to life and I am getting the star here and it's in reverse so this is aqua energy you could have it in your chart you'll be dealing with someone who has it in their chart or you cannot it's just what the card uh, signifies the sign um, so some of you feel like maybe you're not very happy with your appearance right now it could be something that you want to work on maybe you have low self-esteem right now or maybe you're having a hard time with that or you always had that Maybe some of you want to do something different to make yourself um, look better, I guess, in any dynamic. This can be, um, you know, changing your diet, um, your appearance. Some of you could be very self-conscious here about something, okay? Um, so, yeah, there could also be something that um, when maybe you wanted to begin something new and maybe it hasn't gone off the ground here. Some of you could also maybe have a hard time with like self-discovery or identifying yourself, if that makes sense to you. Okay, now we're gonna move forward with your second house, which is basically just things, money, work, income, daily routines, values, materials, possessions, habits, priorities, your job, ethic, environment. We do have the Four of Wands, which is an excellent, excellent card, guys. So I do, see, whether you see it or not, there will be some sort of success here when it comes to, um, those dynamics you could definitely be getting a raise or a better job or job period uh, money could be getting better for you guys for sure um, possessions material things could be definitely of significance to you uh, you like being surrounded by new things pretty things uh, mirrors could definitely be of significance to you guys i feel like some of you might have like a mirror uh, i'm gonna say fetish but you love mirrors you could definitely have mirrors all over your house um i love mirrors too um but yeah, I feel like some of you definitely have like a mirror. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying fetish, but you probably like mirrors a lot uh, or you have them around your home, okay? Um, so yeah, but whatever it is you're doing, there will be some, some success here. It will bring you happiness. Now let's move on to your third house, which is uh, about expression. So this could be your mind, thinking, communication, siblings, uh, social life, interests, neighbors, early education, community, friends short trips and we do see death here this is scorpio so some of you could definitely be cussed with scorpio okay or you could have um scorpio in your chart uh or you could be dealing with a scorpio it doesn't have to be but that's just what the card signifies but for some of you i'm definitely picking up heavy cusp libra scorpio energy just throwing it out there um so anyways so there could definitely be an ending here of communication with um somebody in your life this could be either a community a group of friends maybe a group that you join it could be like a Facebook group or just a group period uh, or, you know friends uh, or family maybe some of you don't have the best relationship with your siblings okay um, also if there is any like trips maybe you were thinking about taking maybe there's a halt to that um, you're, um, it could be like um, travel problems or maybe that's not gonna happen at all period okay now let's move on to your fourth house, which is all about your home, your home roots, your family, your emotions, self-care, uh, foundations, mother, women, children, femininity, okay? And we do have the king of wands, a king of swords in reverse. So whether you are a female or not, um, or you're dealing with a female or not, this somebody here uh, is taking on that very masculine energy. And remember, everyone has masculine and feminine energy, okay? So somebody can see you as very cutthroat, 
all right just throwing it out there somebody could see you as very cutthroat or vice versa you could see somebody here with very cutthroat um i'm also picking up when it comes to your and i'm picking a past energy um when it comes to let's say your home life especially your childhood somebody could de definitely have a very volatile childhood okay you could have had an overbearing parent uh, it could be a father it could have been you know a mother whatever um some of you could definitely have i i don't mean it in, in a rude way but like you know daddy issues or mommy issues okay um somebody of, of authority here um i'm also picking up for some of you you definitely have baby daddy problems or baby mama problems whatever the case may be okay um i'm also picking up here with that is um yeah, this is somebody here in your surroundings, your home life could conceal their their real emotions. This is somebody who can be, um, or they're either viewing you this way or you viewing them this way. They can be kind of self-centered or kind of mean. Someone here who may not have your best interest, who can manipulate or, um, you know, enjoys manipulating people, who only looks out for their own interests, okay? Um, so be careful with this person's actions. This could definitely be, like I said, somebody in your home life. This could be an ex-partner. This could even be like parents, you know, something like that. Something with your home life or people are viewing you this way. All right. Let's move forward to your uh, fifth house. It's all about sexy stuff. <laughs> um, romance, love, joy, play, drama, creativity, fertility, love, um, affairs childlike spirit self-expression children speculation and we do have here for that is the king of cups so again this can be vice versa energy um if it's not you it's someone here viewing you this way uh someone's viewing you this way or you're viewing somebody this way when it comes to that uh romance and stuff like that there could be somebody here who maybe you feel is untrustworthy uh, maybe you feel like there's a little bit of deception. This could definitely be somebody who's a flirt. People could be viewing you as a big flirt um, or a cheater, or you could be viewing them as a flirt and a cheater, someone who uh, could definitely be deceptive, somebody who may be kind of um, pretending to be something else, but they're really not. Okay, a person who's capable of being a liar, basically. Okay, so someone could be viewing you this way, you could be viewing them that way when it comes to maybe uh, romance okay so let's move on to your sixth house which is routine basically it's all about health fitness system analytical nature pets work uh habits organization sense of usefulness service and we do here have the seven of coins or pentacles whatever you want to call it okay so when it comes to this stuff here i do feel that maybe some of you are definitely trying to have some kind of growth here um yeah there could be definitely a growth you could be changing your routine here you could be doing doing something different some of you could again be trying to get your health back in order um this is i do see progress here whatever you're doing i do see successfulness here um i'm also picking up there might be a service you're doing providing of some kind which will get you uh some money here this can also to me indicate planting a seed a seed you sown and you will reap the rewards of that also making a decision to me this also means decision maybe there was um what road to take here in your life when it comes to one of these things and one of these dynamics for sure this could also be you maybe having options at work as well like i said uh, i do feel like there will be some kind of option here but whatever you do choose i do see that it will be fruitful for you regardless okay so this is good now let's move forward to your ooh your seventh house. It's about situationships, and I say situationships because they're not all relationships. Okay, they're not all romantic relationships. There's those in betweens, and then this can also indicate you know marriage, a relationship, uh, con contracts, business partnerships, equality, sharing, interpersonal uh, relationships, and style. Okay, so we do have this, um, the Queen of Wands here, which is great. So you definitely are getting a lot of attention here by suitors, all right? Um, so people are viewing you as somebody they want to 
uh, get to know better, okay, or work with, okay, uh, collaborate with you. Um, maybe there could be something about the way you dress or you look that is uh, intriguing people here. All right, so yeah, people are viewing you as cheerful and, and fun, um, and they definitely want your attention. So you could be very busy. <laughs> You could be having a lot of suitors here for you, all right? So there's heavy flirty energy here, so I could feel like you're definitely flirting around hard, or people are flirting with you. <laughs> um, let's move forward to your eighth house, which is basically intense shit. This is merging, of, merging sex, intimacy, sharing finances, taxes, assets, prosperity, loans, joint ventures, goals, mystery, uh, partners, resources, a bonding, death of a situation or actual death here. And we do have the eight of swords. So I feel like maybe you feel very bound or stuck to a situation. Okay. Some of you, I feel maybe you want to, um, well, let's start off with relationships. So some of you might feel very stuck to a person, sort of like a codependency here or a bound to them. Okay. Um, maybe you can't let something or someone go. Uh, a relationship here some of you might feel like someone's trying to clip your wings or they feel you're trying to clip their wings all right um, some of you might want to maybe move but you feel very stuck like you can't right now or there might be some kind of goal you want to achieve but there's like stagnation there's something that you you can't move or do something for some reason right now so you feel like you're, you're, you're stuck you're just stuck. But remember, this is sore, so it's all thoughts, guys. Okay? And again, I I'm keep going back to being stuck on someone. So someone's either very stuck on you or you're very stuck on them here. Okay? Like, you just can't let shit go or you can't let this connection go. All right? So let's move forward to your ninth house, which is big thinking. It's all about travel, wisdom, philosophy, higher um, learning, religion, law. Uh, cultural relationships um, and ethics and we do have the tower in reverse okay so first off I feel like some of you are trying to avoid this tower moment I feel like something here has happened before there was an ending or death to something here because we do have a death above it so I'm gonna read it that way as well um, I feel like this is not your first rodeo when it comes to something here like this. Maybe it has to do with travel. Maybe you're scared of traveling right now because of everything going on. So you're trying to avoid a tower moment here. Some of you, this could have to do with uh, maybe you met somebody online or something and maybe you want to travel towards them or they want to travel towards you, but things, you know, happened and you can't. Something could have happened rather quickly as well. Some of you could want to go for school or learn something here. But yeah, I'm feeling like it's not going to happen here because you're trying to avoid a tower moment of some kind. All right. Uh, let's move forward to your 10th house, uh, which is all about purpose, career, long-term goals, structures, status, reputation, public image, masculinity, men, father, fame, expert, uh, honors recognition again so we do have um, temperance we do have temperance here so I'm gonna read this in in different ways what I'm getting here all right the first one is some of you might have lost patience with a, a job here or people at your workplace um, you could be having conflict with people at work uh, you could definitely be having conflict with maybe um, your reputation. People may be talking about you. There could be gossip here uh, or vice versa. You could be gossiping about other people or causing tension for them. Um, some of you also, some of you also might be having, um, and again, I'm going back to the, the daddy mommy issue. Some of you could have definitely had um, heart upbringing with them. Okay. Um, I'm also picking up here that there's, it's a settling time here for you right now when it comes to one of these things, whether it be your career or your goals or your reputation or your image. There's definitely heavy masculinity energy here for sure. Okay. Um, some of you might be over committing uh, to something to work. Maybe you're taking on too many uh, projects here as well. I do feel arguments. Okay. Um, so please be very careful with that. 
There could be a disunion. Maybe you quit your job or a partnership here, like I said. Um, there's a lack of understanding here, okay? Um, and then, like I said, we do have the King of Wands right above. I mean, the King of Swords in reverse right above that. So, with that being there, again, I just feel like very dominant energy here. Maybe that you not get along with, all right? Um, this could definitely be you losing patience with somebody here who can be a bit controlling, very my way or the highway. You could have cut ties with this person, or you will, or they could have cut ties with you, okay? Uh, and somebody here might be viewing you or you're viewing them like very cutthroat. Somebody who gets whatever they want and will do anything to get whatever they want. Okay, can be vice versa. Uh, then we do, let's move on to your 11th house, which is all about evolution, uh, aqua, social life, friends, groups, um, technology, wishes, um, and society. And we do have it by the Five of Swords in reverse. So with the Five of Swords in reverse, what I am getting here, guys, is some of you... Um, Some of you may, may feel defeated in a connection here, okay, in your social life. This could be friends, whatever, any type of social life or group here. Some of you could definitely feel like maybe there's people talking bad about you or like I said, the gossip here. You don't know if you're going to continue talking to a certain person or not or continue a connection here. Somebody here might feel like you take advantage of other people or vice versa. Okay, somebody here may feel that um, uh, you put yourself before anyone or have like selfish attitude here or this could be them, you know, you viewing somebody like this, okay? Um, this could also be a misfortune of some kind here. So let's move forward to your uh, 12th house, which is all about mental health, karma, secrets, hidden enemies, um, endings healings, closure, spirituality, um, old age, afterlife, what's hidden, limited beliefs, and subconsciousness. And we do have it clarified by the magician in reverse. Okay. So, I feel like you are definitely going to discover some kind of secret here. There is secrecy. There could be, again, this could be you viewing someone this way or they're viewing you this way. Somebody who could be a bit selfish or manipulative. All right. Again, somebody here who has who, who's restless to pursue money or some kind of recognition. This could definitely be um, somebody who feels a bit insecure about something or there could be a lack or delay here. There could be a lack or delay here, but I feel like you're definitely going to find something out here. Somebody could definitely be dabbling in spirituality or tarot whatever other things like that here okay so this is um yeah i'm also picking up indecision here heavy indecision for you here as well all right so i'm gonna get some cards here for you guys and remember guys like i said this can be vice versa um <clears throat> energies so what I have here for you is Embrace Spirit. So you guys are definitely getting downloads uh, from your spirit guides, your guardian angels, friends and relatives are passing the other side. I'm also getting uh, Know Your Power. So again, some of you are definitely tapping into your own power. You could be very much the magician right now. Okay, Observe and Silence. So with Observe and Silence, okay, so... If you are feeling like a sneaky energy around you here, um, I'd stay quiet and just like, you know, observe in silence like the card says, and it will re that will reveal who this person can be here in your life. And let me leave you with one more. Share your thoughts. So you might have to have a, a talk with somebody, all right? And this is what I have for you, Libra. I hope this reading was at least of some help. If it was, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, stay magical. Bye, guys.